Thanks for tuning in to Silencer School. This is going to be a new series of videos that we do that will consist of short instructional videos that will help new and experienced silencer owners get the most out of their purchases. We're going to cover things from the most basic things all the way up to more advanced topics and separate them all into small short videos on the given subject rather than having one massive hour plus long video about everything. This will save you time and allow you to tune right into the subject you want to see. I shoot a lot of long range, have even had the opportunity to shoot out to a mile and even a little beyond. I always shoot suppressed primarily because it's just more comfortable for me. But many times I've been asked why I use a silencer because they steal velocity from the bullet. So today I thought I would explore this very common assumption about silencers that they slow down the projectile that passes through them. Before we really get into it, a huge shout out to Silencer Shop for sponsoring today's video and the whole Silencer School series. Silencer Shop has revolutionized the NFA process and made silencers so much easier for the regular guy to get. It would seem that the general consensus on the interwebs is that silencers slow down whatever round or projectile that passed through them. So I thought I would measure the speed of three calibers, 6.5 Creedmoor, 300 Blackout, and 9mm, with and without a silencer, to see what effects, if any, there are. To measure the velocity, we're going to be using a lab radar that Optics Planet helped me get my hands on. Be sure if you're getting anything from Optics Planet, use the code ALABAMA. It'll save you some money and help the channel out at the same time. If you've never seen one of these, these are really cool. It uses a Doppler radar to measure the speed of the projectile, and we'll be using it with the external microphone on the subsonic rounds. I'd explain to you how it works, but I really have no idea. It's basically voodoo magic. The hosts and silencers were more or less chosen at random. Stuff we were reviewing or stuff I had around. Other than the calibers, there was nothing really deliberate in my choices. For 6.5 Creedmoor, we're going to use the Daniel Defense Delta Pro 5 with the Dead Air Nomad L. And for ammo, we're using Hornady Match 140 grain. Let's see what happens. Okay, so in that five shot group unsuppressed, we have an average speed of 2,680 feet per second. Okay, so with the suppressor attached, we had an average speed of 2,691 feet per second. So when we compare those two, we are actually getting the slightest gain of speed with a suppressor, a gain of 11 feet per second. For 300 Blackout, even though we are reviewing the SIG Rattler Copperhead, for this test I wasn't happy with the 5.5 inch barrel, so I decided for this test we'd go with the Q Honey Badger, with the more appropriate, at least in my opinion, 7 inch barrel, and the Q Thunder Chicken. For ammo, we will be using the Callaway Ballistics Remanufactured 300 Blackout 220 grain. This is great ammo that I've been using for quite some time. Looks like without the suppressor, we are getting an average velocity of 942 feet per second. In case I forgot to mention it earlier, this is subsonic ammo. Let's see if the Thunder Chicken has any effect.
All right, looks like with the silencer added, we now have an average speed of 953 feet per second. When we compare the two, interestingly enough, we are seeing a gain in velocity with the silencer, a gain of 11 feet per second. For 9mm, we're going to use my CZ SP01 with the OSS Rad 9. For ammo, we're going to be using the Callaway Ballistics Subsonic 147 grain because I just think it'll be interesting to see what happens with subsonics. Okay, without a silencer, looks like we're averaging 911 feet per second. Looks like with a silencer, we're getting an average speed of 908 feet per second. So interestingly enough, in this configuration with the Subsonic 9, we did see the slightest loss of velocity when suppressed of 3 feet per second. Well, that was pretty interesting. I think overall, especially on the rifle rounds, we can say that no velocity is lost, and it looks like you may even gain a little. Kind of surprised about the 9mm results, but they are what they are. I will also say that a loss of 3 feet per second is barely significant. Putting this video together also makes me wonder about different silencers and if they'd have any effect. For instance, would bore diameter make a difference, say on 6.5 Creedmoor, would a 30 cal, a true 6.5 Creedmoor, and a 45 bore have different effects on the velocity? Also would baffle types have an effect? Say would an OSS flow through baffle have a different effect than the cone baffle or the baffle design like CGS uses? Let me know in the comments section if a more comprehensive silencer effects on velocity video is something you'd like to see, or am I just too much of a silencer nerd? As always guys, thank you so much for watching, and a huge thanks goes out to Silencer Shop for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out for silencers, silencer parts, and of course the easiest method to file your NFA paperwork. And guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we've got some really big reviews in the works, some really big silencer reviews in the works, and you definitely don't want to miss those. You can find out what's being reviewed in real time on our Instagram and Facebook pages, so be sure to check us out there as well. If you want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every contribution helps greatly and is very appreciated. There is also Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.